right, Street Fighter 2. Uh, I'm doing Turbo because I think that was the best one of the three of the original Turbo and Super. They had all the bugs worked down here and everything looked cool. And I just think uh, it got a little bit uh, out of hand with Super, even though I did r really like Cammy in her stage. Anyway, I digress. So I'm going to turn up the difficulty to, uh, what is this, six stars out of eight? Because I think that's how you get the good ending. With, uh, that's the minimum for getting the good ending. I'm not going to do Turbo, because that's, uh, what's the point? Let's just start the game. So we have everyone to choose from now in Turbo. I always liked Ryu, even though my brother and I, when we first got this game, we divided all all the uh, characters up between the two of us, so we, we wouldn't let each other use each other's characters. It was kind of silly, but whatever. What was especially silly was my brother picked both Ryu and Ken, who were like the exact same type of guy, so I didn't get to play with either of them. I had, so he had Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, and, uh, Ow. <laughs> and Guile. So I was left with Zangief, Dalzum, Blanca, who was the only one I really wanted. You know, when you're a kid, Blanca's the coolest. Or Blanca? Blanc I call him Blank as a kid. But uh, I call him Blanca now. You know, there's different ways of pronouncing it. I'm sure a lot of you uh, sassy guys out there are saying, Yeah, the right way and the wrong way, douche. And that's fine. But as a kid, I called him Blanca. Um, and then with the uh, additional characters, my brother took, what, Vega and Bison, so I had uh, Balrog and Sagat, and that was a perfect, nice, not even paying attention. So, um, yeah. Better luck next time, comrade. <laughs> but yeah, Turbo was always my favorite, again, because... It's just, they, they worked on all the bugs, solid gameplay, and you get different outfits, too. I mean, come on. New moves, too. Like, Dalzim can teleport. Dalzim, I don't know what you call them. Another case where I, I don't know. Ow. All right. Crikey. That's a good thing to do with Dalzim when he jumps. When he's going very slow in the air doing his paper airplane, wherever the hell it is, just run up and toss him. As the elephant Yo. steps on him. I guess they leave their feet there. Never mind. They do that either way. They're trained very well. I don't know if they have loyalty to Dalzim or not. I think it depends how well he treats them. But yeah, man, Street Fighter. This was, like, one of my favorite games as a kid. My brother and I first played it in the arcade, like, down at the beach. Down at, uh, Outer Banks and stuff. Before it came to the console, and we were obsessed with it then. And then it came to console, we bought it, like, on the first day, you know, the original one. And then we got... I think we got the other two when they came out, too. But yeah, that first day when we got this game, we just played it for, like, ten hours straight. I'd never done that before. I was... I felt like nauseous when I was finished from sitting in front of the TV for so long. <laughs> but it was awesome. I love this game. I've always been in the Street Fighter camp. Like, I thought Mortal Kombat was god-awful. And I'm sure I'm gonna piss some people off by saying that who are watching this right now, but I thought the gameplay of Mortal Kombat was just stupid. <laughs> And just, it looked crappy, and it was, just, it was just dumb. It was always second fiddle, man. In my mind, at least. I know there's a lot of Mortal Kombat guys out there, so... That's cool. Surround sound. Stereo. Oof, that was close. You were taught well, Ryu. Ryu, Ryu. I mean, hell, we were both taught by the same guy. That's why we're so in sync. Yeah, that was dumb. I didn't didn't think I would hit him. Huh. <laughs> Man, computer loves that move. Ow. Yeah, whenever you get too close to anyone in this game, they will throw you.
Do the Hadouken. There you go. Or the all you can. Oh no! <laughs> Oof, another close one. I mean, I am fighting myself, so that's expected. But yeah, I was. I thought that Navy or Periwinkle or whatever the hell you want to call that was always more badass than the, the white. Bonus stage. Beat the shit out of this guy's Volkswagen or whatever the hell it is. Volvo, I don't know. Boom. Man, you think you do damage to that car in a uh, final fight? Beat the crap out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> the tires okay. came off. <laughs> I wanna. I don't know what those chemicals are spewing out right there, Ryu, but I wanna stand uh, upwind of it. Right. Japan. Might as well. While we're here. E Honda. Edmund Honda. I don't know if that's actually his name, but. That's always what I remember calling him. Down you go. And maybe I should have turned the difficulty up all the way. I know if you beat it with full difficulty on and never losing, you get like a tiny little extra treat in the ending. I forget what it is, but it's difficult to do because Bison's pretty damn damn hard on the uh, highest difficulty. Oh, the hundred hand slap. Good night. Let's get the hell out of this bathhouse. The hell is going on with that mural? Don't know. Don't know, don't care. Put on some clothes, fat man. But yeah, Brazil was... I mean, uh, Blanca, Blanca, was always my favorite as a kid. I mean, uh, how would he not be your favorite when you're a kid? He's this crazy mutant dude. With, who can electrocute people and turn into a ball. That's a nice move. A double head crunch. Yeah. Boom. What was the story? He was like in a plane crash and I don't know. He mutated into Blanca somehow. Lightning hit him. I'm not really sure. I know in the movie it was a different story. Remember that god awful three Street Fighter movie? My brother and I dragged my parents to, or our parents to, Jean Claude Van Damme's guile, and they like, <laughs> like Chun Li was like a reporter, and they were just trying to figure out how to put everyone in the movie. Do it. I know. He always follows that electri electricity with the uh, the ball roll. Hoo hoo hoo! That was clutch. He's disgraced in front of all these people and that giant fish. Oh, and that crazy uh, lizard. Climbing up the tree. Looks like a snake, you would think, with his body, but he has a hand, so. Alright. USA. USA! Guile. Styles his hair with a knife. That's how badass Guile is. And they made a few slight changes, I guess, to the, uh. Yeah, it's a stupid move the background so some of these levels like this takes place at sunset whereas the last one was like during the day little things like that I never liked Guile because it takes like two minutes uh, two seconds of holding down Boom. land right in the middle oh yeah he's kind of floating there but yeah I love getting him right there centered on that little, I don't know, logo, D. 
ideally right there. But yeah, when you play as him, it takes like a few seconds to wind up all his moves, but the computer can throw him out at will. A little bunch. Yeah. Ah. Ow. Damn. Hot. I kept throwing the legs and he kept trying to throw me. That's fine. First time for everything. I was playing the original recently, and uh, just to kind of compare it to Turbo, see if I had been missing something. But yeah, they, uh, I mean, Turbo is definitely better in my opinion. Let me beat Guile and then say what I'm going to say. That should have been a throw situation, Ryu. Oof. All right. Anyway, but they uh, they clearly made some people harder and some people easier. Like Guile, I kicked his ass in the original every time. He's a little more challenging in this one. Vega, very difficult in the first one. Probably the hardest guy in the game. In this game, well, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> but yeah, he uh, it, it, just his basic jump kick. Just there's no answer to it except like a show Ryuken, which are kind of hard to pull out at will. Perfect. Yeah, beat the crap out of a stack of bricks. Why not? That's a bonus stage. There's your damn bonus stage. Alright, where are we going now? USA. That's good. Not, not wasting... Wasting our money. We're already in America. Oof. God, Ken's a freaking special move for. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh no! We were taught by the same master. Ken's a little bit faster, a little weaker. Ryu's a little bit stronger, a little bit slower. Yeah, bitch. Boom. Never leave yourself open like that. Do you remember anything Sensei taught us? Bitch. Yeah, dude. Not sure who those tourists are. I guess they're tourists. Uh, okay. So throw. Okay. Well, well all right. <laughs> so throwing up a fist during his cyclone kick worked the first time, and then the second time, it ends my life. That's alright. Difficulty's starting to shine through a little bit. That's good. Makes for a more interesting Let's Play.